Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be a St. Patrick's Day video. First off, I would like to say that I apologize if lately my angles have been really weird in my videos. I rearranged my office and so like my couch is right here and there's no way to put my tripod there and so I'm having to like figure out what the best angle is for this so just bear with me while we work on this project. St. Patrick's Day is about the color green and rainbows and pots of gold and leprechauns and luck. I thought that now would be the perfect time to tell you five books or series that I feel that I was lucky to have found. Some of them are obvious, all of them are obvious, let's be real. But I'm not only going to tell you what they are, but why I feel like they had an impact on my life in one way or another. Do you know what number one is? I'm sure you do. It's the most obvious of all booktubers books. It's Harry Potter. This series is by JK Rowling. I would like to point out during this video that if you look at the editions that I'm holding, they are almost all either special editions or collector's editions because that's why they're my favorites. Okay, anyway, this series is important to me for a lot of reasons, but one of the main reasons is because this is the first series that really made me want to write fiction. It was not just about my love for the characters or for their stories, but because of the way that Rowling was able to make you feel with just her words on the page. The emotions that she was able to get from all of us out of paper and ink. I'm not as fangirl crazy as some people are, but this series will always hold a special place in my heart. Even though JK Rowling has kind of gone crazy, and I know the book has its flaws, and I know that she has gone off the deep end, and that she's slowly becoming the queen of hot messes, and is just fucking up all of our good childhood memories. I still love this world. I still love the series and it still makes me want to be the kind of writer that can make people have those kinds of emotions with just the printed page. Obvious book choice number two, The Mortal Instruments by Cassie Clare. This is the first book, The City of Bones. It is the 10th anniversary edition. When I first started reading City of Bones, it was because I had watched the movie and I enjoyed it. I thought, Books are typically better than the movie and I enjoy the movie so I'll read the book. And while I have always been a reader, at this point in my life I was reading about 10 or 12 books a year which isn't bad but in comparison to what I've been reading lately, not so much. The year following reading the entire Mortal Instruments series, I read 52 books. I quadrupled the amount of books that I had been reading the following year after reading City of Bones. My point is that The Mortal Instruments reignited my love for reading and reminded me why I loved reading and why I loved the fantasy world and why I love spending my time staring at a dead tree hallucinating. It's a fun time. I recommend it for all of you. Obvious book number 487, The Infernal Devices, also by Cassie Clare. Yes, another Shadowhunters book. When I'm only choosing five out of all of the books that I own and that I've read, why does Cassie Clare get books two and books three? Well, you know the reason for book two, so let's give you the reason for book three. While The Mortal Instruments reignited my love for reading, The Infernal Devices gave me a love for something new. When I finished Clockwork Princess, I like everyone else who has read the book and enjoyed it, had all of the feels and had no one in my life that I could talk to about this book. I had so many things that I wanted to discuss and so much that had happened. And I've talked about this before on my channel, literally my review, it may still say this, I may have went back and wrote a review, but I don't know that I have. My original review for Clockwork Princess just said, I have no words, I'll return to this when I feel like I can. I don't think I've ever went back and added an actual review because there are no words. This lack of having someone to talk to 
is what led to my discovery of booktube. That's right. I said it right here. Without the infernal devices, I may never have discovered booktube and I would not be making this video right now and you would not be watching it. So yeah, to say that Cassandra Clare has played a large part in my reading and my booktube worlds is to put it lightly. Are these the best books in the world? No. Are they problematic in some places? Yes. I feel lucky to have found both of these series and to find this author in general. The next somewhat obvious series would be the Witchland series by Susan Dettard. This is the UK cover edition because again I wanted to point out that I have special editions of these books and collector's editions and oh my Clockwork Angel edition is the one with the pretty side. I actually sold my original hard covers to justify buying the soft covers with the pretty spines because I felt like I was crazy to have two and now I have like three collections complete of the mortal instruments so I mean really I probably should have just kept them but it's too late for that. Back to Sue's. As mentioned earlier in this video, Harry Potter gave me the love of writing. It made me want to write. This series made me want to write better. I have been working on Words of Commedia for, I don't know, 10 plus years. When I started the book, the character and I were the same age. I'm 31, almost 32, I had to think about it. That character is like 22, and I've aged her up. That book has always felt like something was missing. And when I first read Truth Witch, which is the first book in the Witchland series, I fell so in love with the world building and the characters that I couldn't fathom how I had lived my life so long not realizing that I had not wanted to crawl in a book and live there as much as I did this series. That's right, more than Harry Potter, more than the Shadowhunters. This book is the world that I want to live in, the one without technology, without any of our modern conveniences. This world is the world that I want to live in. Reading, loving, and analyzing Truth Witch has given me an understanding of what is missing from my own works. And on top of that, Suze has one of the largest collections of writing advice from any published author on the internet. Without my love for the Witchlands and Suze's writing, my own book would just probably never be a reality. I wouldn't feel like I had the tools or the skills to go back in and do the massive edit that it needs to have. So without Sue's, I would never get to tell Alexandra's story. And the final book is You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day. This is a memoir. I do consider myself lucky to have found this memoir. It took me a lot to come to grips with my own anxiety and depression issues, and that still doesn't mean that I didn't feel alone even after I realized that that was an issue that I had. This book was so affirming and reassuring to me that listening to her struggles and the things that she went through, it completely changed how I viewed what was going on with me in my life. I have a full like review talk video of just how much this book has impacted me and I will link that so that you can get a full effect if you would like to know it. But honestly, I don't feel like my mental health would be as strong as it is without having read this book. I think this book solidified me moving forward in my mental health journey and that's pretty powerful for a memoir of an actress who is so much more than just that. So those are the five books that I consider myself lucky to have found. I hope that you have five books that you consider lucky to have found. Let me know what they are in the comments below and let me know how you felt about any and or all of these if you've read them. I'm running away very quickly because my battery is dying. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and one day on the weekend. I don't know which day. This weekend is going to be Sunday because it's St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Bye!